Oh, Teddy, you need help. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi! I'm back. I've been gone. Yeah, sorry. I'm really bad at uploading, just letting you know, but this time I have a good enough reason, okay? I've been super busy getting everything settled for my soon-to-be-opened Etsy shop that is going to be open November 1st. If you're interested, you like bullet journaling, be sure to check out my Etsy shop. It's called The Squeak Easy. It's not open yet, but... If you're interested, hit a follow to my Instagram, which will keep you updated on like everything for it. So we have these two sticker sheets that are available. So if you're interested in stickers like these, they're all themed around this season right now. And then we have bookmarks that are going to be up for sale. So anywho, back to The Sims. Let's go. We are back and we are going to showcase the beautiful mansion that the Langfords have moved into. I am super excited. This is it. They've got some abstract windows at the top, okay? I was trying to be creative. I don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely going for traditional modern. So let's go. So you walk in and you have the beast, which is Elisa's mom motorcycle. I was gonna say favorite motorcycle, but it's her only motorcycle you know but they are rich now hopefully not really but they will be they are they aspire to be rich so hopefully she'll in the future have more of a motorcycle i bought her another car okay it's like mom car because she can't like ride around with her children in the motorcycle it'd be nice but like not safe and i think she would get in trouble okay i mean it is the sims but i i'm gonna put down the laws and say it is not acceptable to do that okay me as the sim god anywho so you walk in i really suck at landscaping so that's why it's like very repetitive but i'm like i want it to be done <laughs> so you got lots of pink and green that's it no other colors because i'm like what else what is a garden what does a garden look like i don't know <laughs> you walk in you've got a little table you have little sneakers that i'm assuming are like carson his uniform in that they're lazy and they put it there lived in feel yes let's be actual house showers and go into tab mode okay so you walk in this is that yes we're walking we're sim walking and we go into the formal dining room which is connected to the kitchen in the dining room i have you know, I tried to keep it modern. It might change, but this is it. I do, I really like these chairs. I put Carson's photographs from the old house. I was made sure that I did not forget them. Happy that I remembered. And now we walk in to the kitchen. I'm gonna go to this corner for you can see it. I really like this. So this is like the, the breakfast table in the kitchen and it looks out onto their back patio, which is super pretty. So just imagine you're out here sitting, drinking your coffee, and this is your view. It's nice. They got some plant things. I'm assuming herbs that they could easily get to. And now this is the kitchen. You've got the stools. This one is like my favorite ever to add in kitchens is like a little kid stool. I don't know. <laughs> I, th I find it cute. So I always make sure like to have that in my kitchens if it's a family house. I really liked how the old house had like the shelf for the cabinets because it opened it up. So I made sure to include that there. But yeah, this is the, the kitchen that Elise will be using because she is in the culinary career. And then we've got more photos from Carson with the baby food chair. And yeah, you've got a picture of the old kitchen. All right, so next we have the living room. So I'm still thinking if I want to put like a TV on that wall or like a big picture frame. It's under construction. I might put, instead of this, I might put a mirror to open it up because I just realized it kind of looks weird. So I might put a mirror there and then I could put like frames up above there or a TV. I don't know. It's a work in progress, but this is how it is right now. And then this baby chair is like right here because... I decided that I forgot it and I didn't really work it in anywhere else so it's like okay you go there right good <laughs> so it wasn't there by choice but it's more so I want it so that's the only place that it fit 
this is Okis's workstation for her because she's blogging she's a food blogger so I wanted to make sure that her environment for work was a nice one and then this is Carson's workout station well it'd be cool if there was like doors but I wasn't thinking ahead <laughs> this toy is just gonna be like oh man I should have done this <laughs> it's like it's too late now okay, anyway we're gonna we're gonna go upstairs now and this leads to the main family room which is where they watch TV this is where the main family just hangs out away from guests and then we've got the chinchilla the beloved chinchilla that I forgot the name I don't think we named it nameless chinchilla and this goes out to their top patio which you can't see it now but there's like greenery overhead take my word for it <laughs> And then you have this nice like lounge chair over here, which I really like the pattern and you just got dangerous fireworks that I hope they do on the street and not in here because fire is not our friend. And now we are heading into Elena's room, which is not my favorite. I kind of like just put random things together. Yeah, this is it. She's sleeping right now. She got little fairy lights on her bed. Nice view into her parents bathroom, unfortunately, but I fixed that with curtains. Okay, don't worry about that. And then next we have across from Elena is Teddy's room which looks out onto the living room which he'll probably hate when he's a teenager and yeah this is it this is where the little rug rat sleeps and you've got the creepy little imaginary friend we all know about them we, we don't talk about them okay we, we don't talk about them all right so that's the kids section and then down this hall I want to do something with this wall but I don't know I don't know what to do probably put more pictures but i'll just have to have carson take more pictures for that so that's along the line of what will be done soon and now this is the parents bedroom very nice very simple we got more pictures of the family got a nice little seating area that is pretty imagine reading a book there and then this is their bathroom. Okay, so for this bathroom, we've got this nice window, sliding door, you know. But it looks out onto Elena's room where the, the, the little girl, the poor little girl, she sleeps. She doesn't want to see her parents taking a bath. No, 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 no. So I was nice and I put up curtains because I do like the idea of them having a sliding door in the bathroom. But I fix things and I put curtains where they are needed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a person, I'm paranoid, so like, I would want all the windows to have curtains because, you know what, now thinking about it, <laughs> they have paparazzis come to their place and their bathroom just looks out onto the street, so I'm assuming they either have tinted windows or they just don't care. I'll have you decide which one is which. <laughs> This is their back patio, so I fixed the pool. I'm very proud of this pool, okay? Because normally I just call it done with a rectangle and say, Pool, you swim? Good job. Squint from afar, it looks kind of good. Not really, but I will continue to lie to me. But yeah, I tried to do something different and do curves, which I'd never done before. So yay. <laughs> For different pools, I guess. I don't know. And then this is just for the kids. Little area that heads into their little... Oh, wait. They do have laundry. Laundry can be annoying in the sun, so I don't know if I want it for this. Damn it. I have to do laundry, okay? Fun. Um, but they do have laundry, and then the back door leads into their garage area anyway let's get into gameplay right now they're sleeping tomorrow is going no today is friday so i guess they'll have a friday birthday party for teddy it is time for you to age up boy he's disciplined he's a genius he's a great baby but apparently he keeps on crying a lot so i don't know about the discipline part but you know what teddy it was nice knowing you it is time to age up let's go all right okay so they're finally up Lisa's in a terrible mood. She's hungry. She's like, it's way too early. She is a night owl. Oh, we'll be good parents, okay? So we'll put him in the swing, have him chill there for a minute, and then we'll finally get some food for her. Hopefully that helps with her cooking skill because what level is she? Cooking is, eh, it's a status great, not the best, but we're getting there. Her level for cooking is currently at a level six, what should we make for breakfast? We will serve... Hmm, it's a tough decision. You know what? I don't like any of them, to be honest. 
as long as oh my god waffles or pancakes are better when they have like little bits of like chocolate in them to make the batter but then you sprinkle like m&ms in them while they're cooking ladies and gentlemen the best you can't tell me any different and then instead of syrup you use whipped cream oh my god it's legit a dessert but like i approve i like it <laughs> anyway she'll be making her waffles everything looks great a-okay in the kitchen no fires to be seen we love it i want to do this part without a fire because for the last two parts we had fires and i'm like no more please i want to rest i just want a nice family okay no alien invasions no fire that's all i ask okay so this is what i was talking about like imagine this you're just eating your breakfast and this is the view low he jealous of you okay oh he's so cute okay so i did give carson a little bit of a makeover just for his workout gear i'm pretty sure where i gave him this little cute cap and everything i don't know i feel like it, it's so good looking yeah i approve i approve <laughs> okay so elise i don't think she has work today which is great no she does 3 p.m well you know what not today not today because we are going to take off today even though it's not a great idea because we do need money since we just moved into a new house but it's your child's birthday you're going to throw a oh wait first i need to like tell our boss that we are <clears throat> sick okay <laughs> i'm a terrible liar so let's just hope that elise is a better liar than me all right so we're gonna quit work okay that's one way to do it no we're gonna call in sick if we're able to we're gonna um oh, okay she's a better person she can't lie so we're just gonna take unpaid time off she she's a better person than me i would have said i'm sick i'm gonna use a sick day and still get paid for it <laughs> all right so they did allow her to take a day off it has been approved congrats Elise. we are going to i guess just put a little balloons you know make it nice so let's do that and we are going to have the cake. I do like this cake, it's so pretty. I like it, it's like a perfect like kid's cake and it makes me hungry. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll put this along here. Oh, make sure that move objects is on. <laughs> Don't you love when like you think that you're typing but you aren't and then you realize that you aren't until you hit the C and move objects and realize it takes a photo instead of actually typing the word? happens all the time <laughs> all right move objects on let's go all right put nice balloon should we do it black and white because i'm kind of lazy and don't want to change it and it kind of looks cute like that okay that's good looking good nice nice i think everything is decorated nice going it is time to call we are going to throw a party we'll invite Stu, their beloved babysitter that we didn't give the best reviews, but you know what? We need people to come to the party so Stu can come along. Okay, I think we got everyone. The lease party is starting soon. Oh wait, let me make sure that they all have off today. Yeah, he needs to call in sick. All right, see, he has the option to call in fake sick. Okay, let's see. Will you succeed? If not, he'll just not show up. All right, here's the moment of truth. Is Carson a good liar? <laughs> Sorry to hear you got sick. Feel better soon. Okay, Carson. I couldn't be happier that you were a great liar. I'm so proud of you. It's super proud. Anywho, um, what's new? Teddy is crying. I feel like I just cheated his need like a few seconds ago. It is time. It is time. So right now she's going to recycle because she's a good person. All right, we're not going to recycle that from all that way. We're not <laughs> I, I, I was thinking that it was right here, but like, no, she's going to walk down the whole entire block just to recycle this. Girl, let me show you a little treat, okay? You do that and you delete, okay? Out of existence. There you go. You know what? I'm going to trust in them to cook. Fingers crossed, no fires, right? Fingers crossed. So we'll have him serve tofu dog. And then Elise here, we will have her bake. I know I could have had her like make the cake, but we don't got time for that. We want cake and other desserts. Where is everyone? That's my question. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm like, wow, it's four o'clock, gonna be five o'clock and nobody's here. I wonder where they are. Meanwhile, everybody's like, 
It's the worst party. They're not even allowing us in. I forgot that we had this big gate. And here they are. Here's our guest. Okay. Can I? Yes. Let's open it. Hello. Welcome in. You are allowed in. Apologies for that. You got stew with an imaginary plate. Great. Nice going, stew. We love you. We love you and your, your fake plate. Okay. All right. Come in, guys. Come in. All right. It's raining. It's fine. Everything's fine. No. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, guys. Come in. Welcome in. You are invited in as it hails. It is hail. Look at him. It's spring. Why is it hailing? All right. This is starting off as a great party. It is hailing. And what happened to his umbrella? Did you get attacked by lightning? What is this? Why are you like this? What happened to your umbrella? Even though he has that weird face, he still kind of looks good. <laughs> Take a screenshot. What happened, dude? What happened? No one on this lot can age up what the heck is it because it's hailing outside all right wow this party's going great all right our guests are refusing to come in we have the gates open please come in me trying to figure out how to do this <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to do it it has stopped hailing so hooray for that i've got a solution the only thing is i'm gonna have to cheat teddy aging up poor little teddy hey you know what it's okay just uh in your imagination Imagine him blowing out the candles, okay? Why are you crying over cake? I mean, are you sad that it's not edible? Because same girl, same. I would cry too. We only have one friend. One of them only showed up. Oh my god, birthday parties, weddings in The Sims is just never easy. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna age up Teddy. Okay, it is time. Are are you are we gonna celebrate? Can we? Oh my god, this is a sad, pathetic birthday party. I'm so sorry, Teddy. I'm, I am I apologize. Oh, it's happening! With all the sweat, with all the crying, it has finally happened. Okay, so the days have flown by, and Teddy is now a toddler. What he learns at this age will set the stage for his future development. Well, let me tell you, the, this little foundation of the struggle of aging up, we'll see if it is going to put him on the right track or the wrong track. Let's, let's get a front row audience to him aging up. Let's go. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> you know what, Teddy? I apologize. But you know what this means? Create us in time. He's he's looking very vanilla right now. Okay, so we are going to fix him up. Oh, Teddy, you need help. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we finally have a Teddy link for it. He is fully finished and dressed. He's sporting in some jeans, shirt and some nice vans for his sleepwear that you'll be seeing him in a lot we have just normal pajamas there you go and then for outerwear is really cute any storylines that you have for teddy leave below on the comments i will definitely take into recommendation of what you want to see in the future for him but uh as of right now this is teddy cute old teddy he had a glow up from what he looked before with his vanilla feel from the sims i i tell you like cc like does wonders now we've got a sim that actually looks like a human and i think this is where i'm gonna head it off right now unfortunately it wasn't the best birthday party but you know what it's the sims stuff happen and the only friend that showed up was rufus rufus the man get yourself a friend like rufus because out of all the people that we invited nobody showed up all these balloons for no one all these balloons for no one poor teddy couldn't even blow out his candles yep it's a glitch anywho i'm gonna let them rest it's been a long day it's been a struggle he's like i'm over it <laughs> anywho i'll see you in the next part Bye. One thing that I loved about The Sims 2 is they had nice party decorations. It's so cute. And I like how the balloons deflated after the party. But like that little detail, like, come on. Chef kisses. It's just like Sims 5 combine all of the great things within all of The Sims game. And that's it. Like, don't take away things. Just put all of the good qualities in it and make it a whole game. It's, I don't know. They act like it's so hard to do, but it's like, it, it's there right in front of you. People are telling you what they want. All you have to do is just deliver it. Not that hard, okay? <laughs> I say as I know nothing about game develop it but i don't know i'm just gonna hop on to a different topic because 
it could get a little spicy that topic just saying 